Bill Nathan, boom 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 boom. Frank Nathan, boom 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 boom. Bill Nathan, boom 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 boom. Frank Nathan, boom 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 boom. Bill Nathan, oh 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 Hey kids, have ever you want to go to the moon but realize you needed too much money or that you wanted a death wish? Well, so do I. Today I'm going to teach you about parabolic motion. Hey Nathan, what's parabolic motion? Parabolic motion is... The way that a projectile moves through the air. For example, a rocket or a football can exhibit parabolic motion. But before we throw people or sports equipment around, let's learn some new vocab. Projectile, an object in space being acted only on by gravity. Parabola, symmetric curves. Parabolic arc, the parabola representing a projectile's motion through the air. The vector, the line representing the speed and direction of a projectile. Initial velocity, the speed the projectile is going at, the earliest point of a specified portion of the arc. You can always put subtitles. The final velocity, the speed the projectile will be going once it completes the arc or portion of the arc that is examined. Acceleration of gravity, a constant 9.8 meters per second squared. This is the speed at which gravity will slow something down and prevent it from flying on forever. Height, the distance from the projectile to the ground or object that gravity will try to pull it towards. Air resistance, the effect of air counteracting the projectile path of a projectile and its subsequent effect on speed and motion of the object. Resultant, what you get from making lines representing speed. So what does all this mean? If our little Elon Musk is launching his rocket at a horizontal speed of 40 meters per second and is being launched at a 30 degree angle from the ground, since we know the horizontal speed and the launch angle, we can use cosine to find the resultant. But what if you want to hit a moving target? Well, make a triangle with the hypotenuse or longest side representing the resultant, combination of both vertical and horizontal speed. SOH or SO means you should use sine of an angle to find the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. CA or CAH means you should use the cosine of an angle to find the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. TOA or TOA means you should use the tangent of an angle to find the opposite side divided by the adjacent. However, the problem isn't just done at Sokotoa. You also need to know the speed at which the target is moving away from you in what direction. For simplicity's sake, let's say the target in move is moving in a straight line directly in front of us. No, 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 you, no, no, you, out, out. Uh. <laughs> Alright, cut. That's okay. good. Yeah. Well, there's, there's like one more line. Oh. It's like, Wow, well, that I'm really sure glad I didn't cut then. Wow, that sure was some exciting math, huh, kids? Well, thanks for watching. I gotta go now. Here we have a brave Annalise preparing for launch at speeds of 40 meters per second horizontally and 30 meters per second vertically. But how far will she go? I don't know, but let's see if she crashes or not. LOL! Well, that looks like a nice crash. Now, using one of the kinematic equations and some of the other stuff we already know, we can figure out how far and high she flew. And ta-da! We have some math and a funeral to plan. Yay! If you thought Annalise's flight was unfortunate, this one looks even more doomed. Ouch, he looks kind of dead. Well, we know Nick was falling at a rate of 5 meters per second, and he took 2.25 seconds to fall to the ground. So how high did he fall from? We can use one of the kinematic equations for that. And if we know that he fell 22.6 degrees from parallel to the ground, we can use the tangent of 22.6 equal to 5 meters per second over the missing line representing the horizontal velocity. With this, we find that the horizontal velocity is 12 meters per second. And using the same kinematic equation as before, we find that the distance fallen is 5.63 meters in height. Well, with our aerospace program dying, only one man can save us, and that's James's passionate lover, the billionaire genius Elon Musk. Yeah, and would you look at that? He has an idea to save our rocket pilots. It's a shame it's too late. Turn off the camera. I don't. No more cameras. Turn off the camera.